Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. I look a little crazy right now because I don't have any product on my eyebrows. I feel like I look like Voldemort, but that is because I am getting ready to go get my eyebrows done today. I haven't, I think I've gotten my eyebrows done like two other times in my life. I have really kind of blonde, sparse eyebrows. For a while, like probably back in, I don't know, when was microblading popular? Like 2016 probably? I was like really wanting to do it, but it was too expensive. And I'm kind of glad I didn't because what's cute and trendy for brows is totally different now than it was back then. So I'm gonna do a lamination and a tint, I think. I've seen a couple videos on brow lamination and I kind of know what to expect. I don't know how long it's gonna take, especially with the tin. But after that, I think I might go meet my mom for lunch and that's today. So I'm excited because I, as you can see, like there's not much to work with, especially over here. So it'll be cool to like have my brows be a little bit darker, a little bit fluffier. And like the photos that I've seen on Instagram, like the transformations are wild. So before I would look into something like microblading, um, I'm gonna do like the lamination and the tint and all that. So I'm excited. All right, hair, that's as good as it's gonna get for today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm in like a little bit of a rut with my hair and in the next vlog, that's gonna change. We're doing, um, we're doing something big, but more about that later. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed. I got these Nike Dunks off of Poshmark and oh my God, I can't with my face. <laughs> They're like this light pink and white color. They're so freaking cute. And the only reason I got these is because they were on Poshmark. Someone was selling them on Poshmark and I had like $300 of credits to use on Poshmark. So I got them for free. They're super cute. So I'm thinking these with, hmm. I got this cute top from Abercrombie, but this is kind of like a going out out top. It's so freaking cute. It like crisscrosses in the front. How cute is that? I like the idea of that. Oh, you know what I could wear? I just thrifted this top and this top is actually really cute. And then recently I got some jeans secondhand. As I mentioned, I have really been loving Poshmark. So maybe like this with the dunks. Let's try it on. All right, I'm not 100% in love with this, especially with it tucked in, but like, I don't really, like it doesn't look good out either. I guess I could like try to tie it up. That might be cute actually. Okay, I tucked it up like into my bra so that it hopefully looks a little bit better. <laughs> now we're gonna head out the door. Oh, by the way, these are the Abercrombie high rise curve love 90s jeans, I think. I got mine on Poshmark for like half off. So, okay, now we have to go. <laughs> Okay, just parked, made it. I need to actually find out where it is because it's in like a salon suites type of thing and I really, really have to pee. So I'm gonna head inside. Here is the before and we'll see you in a few for the after. We're gonna go from this to this. Oh, wow. Okay, here's the thing. They're really, really bold right now. And she told me that going into it, like they're gonna seem really really dark for the first like 24 hours i'm not allowed to wet them or wash my face or anything for 24 hours i can't they look so dark but i swear to you they're going to be so amazing she said that once i wash like there's like some dye on them and there's also this like i think it's like vaseline or like grease or something so they look really intense right now but after i wash them she said they're gonna be amazing and they're just gonna like continue to lighten up so i'm I'm actually so pleased with it and she was so sweet she's like my new favorite person ever I would highly recommend going to see Chelsea her business is called tinted brow bar it's in Scottsdale I cannot recommend her enough she was so kind so sweet we literally just chatted about everything like being in our 30s life so I'll leave her information linked down below like her Instagram and all of that I would highly recommend booking with her so I think I'll check in tomorrow and do like a little bit more of like a realistic update because she said that like sometimes when people get them done, they're like, oh no, they're too dark. And she's like, trust me, it's gonna be better. So I'm so pleased, look at these brows. I've never, I have never seen my brows look like this in my life. Are you kidding me? This is all my hair. Like you saw those brows this morning, like she tinted them 
and then laminated them and she said that she did my tails up as well because she thought that it looked really cute so here she is. I'm gonna go meet my mom for lunch and then head home and get some more work done today. But what a fun way to start the morning. I'm so glad I tried this out. Like I've been wanting to try it forever and now I can say that I did. And who knows, I might keep doing it. We'll see. All right, just made it home. It's actually like almost 3 p.m. now, which is crazy. This day went by so fast. My appointment was at 10 a.m. I like literally don't know what happened. Had lunch with my mom, hung out at her house for a bit, and then went to Whole Foods because my dad got me a gift card for Christmas. And I was like, I obviously need to use it. So shout out to my dad for providing me with these groceries. He knows the way to my heart. In no particular order, I actually had to move some of this stuff around because my mom got stuff, but we got some oat milk because why not? I was there. Oh my god, I forgot how bad the fridge smells. So last night, <laughs> Drew and I made the Baked by Melissa viral TikTok green goddess like dressing salad. I literally need to take it out. And uh, it made this much. <laughs> like one head of cabbage made this much. What am I supposed to do with this? This is for a group of 12 people. Like we ate so much of it last night that it like made us sick. And I stored it in the fridge with some tin foil on it. And like, it stinks every time we open the fridge. So I don't know, I might put it in like a Tupperware. Okay, wow, that was gnarly. Anyways, um, starting at the top, I got these beef chips. I thought these looked really good. They had two different kinds. Well, actually they had like so many. They had broccoli, carrot, beet, cauliflower, which I also got, and they just looked fascinating. I love veggie chips. They had kale chips. It looks like they also have watermelon slices, pineapple chips. So they have all different kinds of like dehydrated fruits and veggies. So I got buffalo ranch for the cauliflower and then just sea salt beef chips. So those should be good. I got some snap peas. What are these called? Harvest snaps. I like. They're so good. They're like, I don't know how to describe them. Green pea snap crisps is what it said. So I got some of those. I've loved those for years. Like I used to work at Whole Foods in high school and eat those. Got some tiramisu for Drew, that's from my mom. She and Drew share a love for tiramisu. I love it too, but I can't have too much caffeine, so I gotta be careful. I tried this Urban Remedy, I got some of the bars too. I got two of the bars and one of the shakes. This is an organic chocolate banana milkshake. Meal shake, I lied. And I just like love protein shakes. So it has almond milk, vanilla, banana, chia, pea protein, coconut, and cacao. And I just thought that sounded delicious. So this is what she looks like. We also got two of the Urban Remedy bars. I got this matcha one with, looks like some kind of like maybe chia seeds, sesame seeds, something like that. It's an energy bar. So I got that one for Drew. And then I got the cacao plant protein bar for myself. These look pretty good. I got a lot of um, snacks, if you couldn't tell. This obviously isn't a grocery haul. I feel silly that I even need to clarify that, but if I ever, excuse me, if I ever like go to Trader Joe's or any, if I show any grocery haul and it's not like a complete haul of groceries, people are like, where's your veggies and fruit? And I'm like, it, it's not, it's not my full grocery haul. I'm just, I just bought this stuff because I had a gift card. I got a nectarine, fun stuff. I got two of these Get Back to Human chocolate bars. I'm obsessed with this one, which is the almond butter and puffed quinoa dark chocolate. This is so luxurious and delicious. And then I also have one in the fridge that's the, I think it's like cashew butter and vanilla. Amazing as well. So I decided to try the crunchy mint dark chocolate. So I got two of these, so one of my favorites, and then a new one. And then I have been seeing people talk, I was looking for the cookies, but I couldn't see them anywhere, and I might have been looking in the wrong place, but I saw this Siete cinnamon chips. These are like churro strip chips, and Siete is a really cool brand because like everything's gluten-free. I'm pretty sure it's vegan as well. Yes, it is, paleo and vegan, it says on the top. And these just look delicious. And it's like made by this family, the Garza family, and there are seven of them. So that's where the Siete came from. How cute. And then I've got some pistachios. I just always eat pistachios. Got some nori to make the Emily Mariko salmon bowls, the TikTok ones, obviously. I saw these and they looked really good. And these are called almond butter date bites. Drizzled in dark chocolate with a crunch of hazelnut croquant. Croquant? I don't know French very well, but um, these look amazing. Like, yeah, sign me up for that. I don't want to eat one right now. 
Oh wait, I got these Unreal. I've seen a lot of people talk about these and I've tried the peanut butter cups, but these are dark chocolate almond butter cups, which is actually even better. I like dark chocolate more than milk and I usually prefer almond butter things. It just like tastes better to me. So excited about those. I can't get over my eyebrows. <laughs> I'm just realizing how dark they look. <sighs> got some of these um, corn snacks thingies they are like corn nuts who loves those i lost one it fell out but i wanted to try this zevia because i see everyone talking about it and i as we know i love a spicy water i love a soda but it can be really hard to find caffeine free sodas so i thought i would try this one it is like artificially sweetened i don't really mind that though um it's not really something that bothers me but like drew if there's even like a milligram he'll taste it he's like no. So I got these and they're the strawberry flavor and that sounded delicious. So we'll try those. I got two of my <laughs> guilty pleasure, which is liquid death. I've talked about these before. It's literally just water, like actual water, not sparkling water, not any kind of fancy water. It says it's from the Alps, but I don't know. There's something about this that just I really love. And then I got these simple mills seed and nut flour sweet thins and they're a chocolate brownie flavor and i was like that sounds amazing i've tried their almond flour crackers i actually have some in the pantry right now the black pepper flavor and they're so good like they're literally so flavorful and delicious and it says that the seed and nut flour blend is made from watermelon seeds that's insane cashews sunflower and flax so they're like gluten-free vegan all that kind of stuff so nice and that's it that's literally all i got so put all this away and then drew's mom's coming over for chili later so we're gonna like probably get this place cleaned up and i obviously need to start the chili at some point but yeah here's my new brow i can't really move my brows that well because i got botox <laughs> hi <laughs> Drew's coming down. I warned him that they were really dark. Very dark. I know. They're really dark. Isn't it so weird? <laughs> Do I look angry? <laughs> You're just like really. <laughs> <laughs> I called him on the way home and I was like, just so you know, my eyebrows are really dark. <laughs> look, they're not gonna look like this bro. Quick update. Yes, my pants are unbuttoned because they're a little tight around my waist. Whatever, we're just gonna roll with it. Um, these. Incredible. I'm leaving the fridge open just for like a minute to try and get the cabbage smell out. These were amazing. They actually taste exactly like the Lara bar, like the chocolate chip cookie dough Lara bar. So those are amazing. We tried these simple mills. These things hit. These little chocolate brownie sweet thins, amazing. Oh, we also tried the Siete chips. I don't know where they went, but they taste like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, like a, a more lightly seasoned Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And I'm gonna try one of these. Um, unreal chocolate almond butter cups. Here we go. Yeah, amazing. So pleased, but just wanted to give a quick update. Like everything is amazing. Just cracking a cold one after a long day. <laughs> Cheers. All right, now we'll close this. Cabbage stinks. Hello, I am in the bathroom. It's the next day. It's been 24 hours. I just washed my face and did my skincare, so my face is really red. But here is the final look at the brows. Like, they're so much lighter. You can still see some, like, leftover dye, but they don't look, like, as severe. Obviously, right now, I don't have makeup on, and I'm just doing an editing day today, so I don't plan on wearing makeup, but I really do love them. I think it's gonna look great for whenever I do my makeup. I don't have to spend so much time on my brows. I think it was like a fun little thing that I tried. I'm really glad I did it. I also forgot to mention earlier in the video that like I paid my own money for this. The girl doesn't even know I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> she doesn't know I was talking about it. So 100% my honest opinion. I really enjoyed it. I paid for it. I think it was $75 before tip. And I think it's great. I think they look so much better than they first did when I turned on the camera yesterday. Like come on they're much more like natural looking today and i'm very pleased with them so anyways that's gonna do it for this vlog i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for being here the next vlog is very exciting because i'm doing a hair transformation i'm i'm ready for a change like it's been something i've been thinking about for a while so we're just gonna do it and i hope you're excited and i will see you in the next vlog bye